Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from awfulmedia.com, and this is part one of the WordPress theme customizer tutorial series. Not sure how long this series will be. Again, this is an extension of my WordPress theme tutorial series, just like that little widget series was that I will continue. I was asked to do a more advanced widget, uh, or extend that widget a bit, and I definitely will be doing that. So if you're interested in that, be sure to stick around. But this series is going to be all about the WordPress theme customizer. We're going to be using it with our game square theme that we've created. It isn't complete yet. We still have a bit to do. So if you're following along with that series, uh, it's not over yet, but there's some stuff I'm wanting to do and I feel like I want to do it now. So I'm going to do it now. All we have to do really for this is create a page template, which is going to be pretty much the single template without the game. So we can write um, pages and stuff and make a normal single template for blogging and uh, make an archive page oh and we want search search is a big part of that and we'll get to that too so that is going to be a part of that series but this series is going to use that theme as it is right now and we're going to be creating some some options in the WordPress backend here things like changing the background color changing link color uh, changing the logo uh, switching style sheets stuff like that and um, that's pretty much uh, or changing some text we can do that too that's pretty much the bulk of the typical theme options pages where you can change style sheets you can change the structure like if you want the the sidebar on the left side instead of the right side all that is is either a style sheet change or you're injecting some style sheet with some jQuery or something like that we can do that as well we can we can change text if we want to change uh, the I don't know the something we could change the something if we want to update the logo we can do that directly from the options panel if we want to change the color of of a widget that or, or, or of like the footer on a widget say like if you want to change the color of the footer we can do that as long as we set all that up to work for us and that's what I'm going to be doing with this series setting up the options and making them work so first of all let's go to our themes page in the admin panel and you'll see that there's a customize link right here if we click on that it'll take us to this page right here where we have a theme preview over here and we have options over here now these are the default options in the wordpress theme customizer so i didn't add anything extra in for this this is all available in the back end anyway in the like settings tab or something I don't know where exactly but this is all already in there so this isn't anything special but we're gonna be adding in more tabs through here add color tabs where we can go in and change the background color the link color the text color all of that will be in a one section by itself add like an images tag where we can go in and change I don't know the logo image and if we have any images anywhere else that need to be changed that aren't already like post based or anything and then we could have a um, layout tab where we can change, like put the sidebar over here. The way that would be done is either switching a style sheet or just injecting some CSS. So that would be pretty easy to do once you understand how this works. So what we're going to be doing is uh, just go ahead and start writing some CSS. This is the functions.php of the theme that we built. So be sure you're working in your functions dot php we're going to create a function and the function name is going to be whatever but make sure it has something to do with your theme and the customizer so you can remember what it is mine's going to be the awful media or not awful media pfft, not game square uh, customizer register so we're registering all the properties for the game square customizer they'll all be defined right inside of this and now we want to make sure we initiate that to load to the fire off that function whenever the customizer is started so to do that we're going to add the action the action is customize register and then we're going to say we want to fire the game square 
we're just going to fire this off right here. So let's double click on that, take that, paste that right there. So now whenever the action customize register is fired off, we'll then call this function right here and anything inside of this block. So to get us started, let's set up a section and this section will be the color section or it could be whatever you want. But for this series, this will be the color section. Let's make sure we do this correctly though and uh, block that out there and add the WordPress customize variable. Now this will allow us to pull the information from that variable and uh, utilize it down through here. So the first thing we're going to do is use that variable and grab some information from it. So we're going to say WordPress customize, then we're going to go and uh, do the little thing that's like get the value, the object prop property, I believe? Property operator. Some, gosh, it, it has a technical term that I am not fully aware of. I don't know all the terms, but it's to prop tech, blah, 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 one of those. Anyway, we're going to, we're going to extract some information from this variable. So we're going to say add section and then boom right there. And now we're going to fill this out with an ID and an array that will give some values to uh, some, some, some fields. So now we're going to fill this out with an ID and an, an array that's going to have some values for us. So the ID for this is going to be game square colors. Okay, so I'm going to add a comma there and say array. I'll go ahead and enter that down. Back that up there. So now inside of this, we'll set up the title. So the title is equal to, actually we'll localize this. The title is equal to uh, just colors. That'll work. And it's going to be for the game square theme. So the title here, which will be uh, localized, so it'll be translated if you have the language files. And the theme it's used for is the game square theme. Now enter down. Oh, we don't want to end that. We're going to add another one there. So comma. Now let's add a quick description. This will just be something that uh, describes what this section is used for. And I'll just say modify the theme colors. Okay, now we have a section. What we're going to do is copy this. This is where this gets pretty easy. Copy that and change add section to add setting. So now we're going to get a little bit more specific with what this ID is for. This one will be for the background. Background. Wow, background color. <laughs> so we have the game square colors and then inside that we have the background color. No description or title. We're going to replace the title with the, the default value and we're going to replace this right here with what we want this setting to default back to. If there's nothing changed, if the user hasn't modified this setting, it'll fall back to whatever this value is. So ours will be the background set, the background color will be FFF. So if nothing is added, nothing is changed, the background will remain FFF. There's a couple more values we could set here, but we're pretty much going to be using the defaults for those anyway, so we won't waste any space writing those out. Uh, you can set the, the method for refreshing. You can set the type of it. It's, it defaults to option, though, so we're going to be using that anyway. So we're just leaving that blank. So we're going to have the section of game square colors with a setting of background color inside of that. 